Hey, how's it going? I'm Jackie Montgomery, and today we have a special 1v1. We are joined by the captain, Mauro Rosales. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, as a captain, how would you assess where this team is now in their preseason training versus a year ago? I think uh, we did a very good job in, uh, in the preseason with, with David and all the staff. Uh, we didn't have so many play yeah, a few players were in the national team and uh, we couldn't train very well as a team and doing more uh, in the soccer part like uh, 11 against 11. We didn't do any, any of that, just uh, 45 minutes against Poland. But uh, the team uh, responded very well uh, at all the fishing stuff that we did and um, yeah, David was very happy about that. We run a lot to, to be ready for the for the long season that is waiting is waiting for us and uh, yeah the team is doing very well the uh, many new players young players that uh, they took like what what is uh, where our standard shirt uh, they know now uh, how important it is and uh, everybody want to be want to be part of this group and then it's, it's good for us it's good for the coaches that they have to take the decision uh, which player is going to pick and uh, yeah for us it's, it's also good because we, we're going to become uh, a tough team and this is what we want you know be a, a, a difficult team to beat and uh, yeah we have to to do our best. Figuring out who is going to start is going to be a big uh, some big decisions for Ziggy and the rest of the coaching staff especially how to fill in the role of um, now Freddie Montero being gone and also Jeff Park being gone how do you expect that to change your role as the captain on the squad? I think is the we saw very good players uh, training with us that can replace them, and uh, we are not worried. We we know that uh, Freddie and Jeff uh, they are very good uh, players for us. They've been uh, such a good uh, uh, players for for Sanders in the past years and. Uh, um, we are waiting for the players that they can replace them, replace them and, and do their best, you know, um, uh, we can do it. Uh, we know that uh, we have a, uh, a squad that is uh, available to do uh, what they did before in the past and um, yeah, we are excited to, to, yeah, to see who is going to, to replace them and um, yeah, waiting for new players. We saw a very good caliber of players in the in the preseason and um, yeah we are just waiting. Finally kind of stepping away from the, the play on the field but focusing on Seattle as a whole you have played soccer in some pretty big soccer cities over the course of your career but now that you've had you know a, a few years to soak up the environment here in Seattle how would you compare soccer here in the Northwest versus other places that you've played? Mm, now it's gonna be my third season mm -hmm. uh, I really feel like it's a, a home for me. Uh, all the, the 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 people that I can see in the street and all the supporters and fans, they give me uh, uh, all the time. Uh, they are talking about about me, good things, and uh, I, I can appreciate that uh, they love that they have to me. And um, yeah, I really I think the world is like I feel like I'm home, and uh, this is something that the players need. To get confidence, to 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 feel like uh, we can do everything because we have our back cover for for very good people and also for the great organization that Seattle Sanders have and uh, the staff, and very experienced players, experienced uh, coaches and staff, and uh, yeah, I'm very glad to be here. All right. Well, and all the Seattle fans are happy to have you here. <laughs> thanks so Thank much for so the much. <laughs> thanks so much for the time, Moro. And of course, if you want to keep watching more exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews, keep it logged on to SoundersFC.com. Tanzania, the land of Kilimanjaro, Zanzibar, and the Serengeti.